All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakhakudash. You know, which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know, I want to give double honors to your apostles and elders of Great Millstone and uh, peace and salutation to the Akimah, to the elect. You know, that is scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. All right, and this is just going to be a lesson, you know, that I came up with. You know, through the spirit, I was reading the book of Lamentations. All right. Basically, the condition that our people are in. All right. Which when I say our people, I'm talking about the Negroes, the Latinos and Native Americans. All right. Which are the Israelites of the Bible. You know, the chosen people, you know, God's chosen people. All right. That he chose to be above every nation. All right. That was on top of all of these nations at one point in time. All right, but we fell through disobedience. All right, we ended up in America. All right, for because of disobedience. All right, the Most High gave us over into the hand of our enemies. All right, because we disobeyed Him. You know, but our people are destroyed. No matter where you see them, at. All right, you can just turn on the TV. You know, they even portray it in the movies. All right, the conditions of our people. Our, our, the condition of our people is is well known in the earth. All right, but you know it doesn't get talked about. All right, the thing, the shit that we've been through in history, it doesn't get talked about. You go overlook. What are the things they like to talk about? The Holocaust, 9/11. You know they don't like to talk about what happened to the the Native Americans. You know when it's, when the Fucking white man got over here, all right, and stole them from, him, stole their land, you know. That they, they don't like to talk about that. They don't like to talk about what they did to us, all right, the Negroes when they had us in slavery, you know. They don't like to talk about those things, all right. Every other thing in history, all right, that happened unto a nation, all right, it's, it was not serious. It's not as serious as what happened unto us, all right. This is Lamentations 1 and 12. Is it nothing to you, all ye that pass by? Behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow, which is done unto me. Well, with you, how it had afflicted me in the day of his fierce anger. Yeah, he, he, said, he said, look around and see. I right, said, behold and see if there be any sorrow like unto my sorrow. I right, was the most high brought upon us. All right. Basically, you know, he he he's saying Jeremiah's saying that look, man, it ain't it ain't nothing, all right, like what the Most High brought upon us. Nobody has ever, ever went through nothing like as we went through, all right. Nobody ain't catching hell like we catching hell, cause the Most High didn't put curses on us. Are right, you reading the book of Deuteronomy twenty eight chapter? All right, he put curses on us. You know, this is a. Uh, this is Lamentations 4 and 6. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hand stayed on her. So it's saying this, this, this shit, <laughs> basically the punishment all right, or the reward of our evil doings, our reward of disobeying the Most High's commandments, all right, how he paid us back. All right, it was even greater than how he than what he did unto Sodom and Gomorrah. And you you know you know what they was doing up in there. All right, full of homosexuality, but you know how they got destroyed as well. All right, fire and brimstone took their ass out quick. You know, but he said that the the, the things that the Most High brought upon us, man, it, it's man, it's, it, it it basically topped that shit. All right. It's greater than that because it says that Sodom, it was overthrown in a moment. All right, like I said, take, it was just taken out. They were taken out in a moment. And it said no hand stayed on her. All right, so it was destroyed and that was it. All right, what about us? Isaiah 5 and 25. Therefore is the anger of Yahweh kindled against his people, and he has stretched forth his hand against them and has smitten them. And the hills did tremble, and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets. For all his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. So if you go back to Lamentation 4 and 6, it said that no hand stayed on Sodom. 
All right, but it's at the most high did this and that to us, you know. Basically, he punished us, all right. And it says his hand is still stressed out, all right. So his hand is still on us, all right. Our people are still suffering, all right, from, from these curses, all right. That's why our punishment is greater than what happened at the Sodom and Gomorrah, all right. Because Sodom and Gomorrah, they got their judgment quick, all right. They, the most I didn't have to keep his hand on them, the most I didn't have to. You know, basically, most I just, 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 just destroyed them, bro. All right. But for us, all right, we are still here suffering and going through what was written in the scriptures, all right, that we was going to go through. All right. Brew four and six, you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most out to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. Yeah, we were sold into the nations because we moved the most out to wrath. All right, it's, you you go through history. Israel was always fucking going off, worshiping idols, worshiping the calf. You know, just being rebellious. They didn't care about you know the commandment. They didn't care about Yahweh. You know, they man, hey, it was a uh, a wicked people. You read in the book of Isaiah, all right, the first chapter, I believe it's the fourth verse, third or fourth verse. It says. A people laden with iniquity, all right, full of sin. You know, that's why the Most High gave us over unto Esau, all right, which is which is a so-called white man. All right, his, his biblical name is Esau. All right, it goes back to the Edomites. All right, that's who they. That's their biblical biblical nationality. Baruch four and ten. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. All right, so who brought it upon us? Like I said, the Most High brought this captivity upon us. All the captivities that we've been through in history, you know, and throughout the history of the scriptures, all right, the Most High brought it upon us. All right, but the one that we're in today, all right, the worst captivity ever because we don't know, well, our people, the majority of our people don't know who we are. We lost our heritage over here. And the, and the other captivities that we had, all right, we knew who we were, all right? We knew that we were Israelites. We knew the Most High, all right? We prayed to the Most High. But over here, our people were completely destroyed, all right? So like I said, the Most High did it. Isaiah 42 and 24, who gave Jacob for a spoil in Israel to the robbers? Did not Yahweh, he against whom we have sinned? For they were not walking his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. So yeah, then did not Yahweh do this to us? All right, because we rebelled against him because we didn't walk in the way that he wanted us to walk. All right, it was him. All right, scripture letting you know who did it. All right, our people are always asking, oh, why are we in this condition? You know, what do we do? You know, it can't be no God. God don't love us. And we No, bro, it's just said the most high God, Yahweh, he did it because we disobeyed him. You know, but that 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 time, you know, that time is, is, is about to be over, bro, because we let's just like I said in Baruch, it said we were not put here all right, we, for our destruction, you know, so we weren't put here to be destroyed as a people. We weren't put here for a, a set period of time, all right, basically like a, a, a prison sentence, you know, it's Isaiah 51 and 22, just said Yahweh. Just said thy Lord, Yahweh, and, and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again. And what is that cup? All right, that's talking about the slavery and all the hell that we had to go through. The most I made us drink that. You know, the most I made us drink all of it, bro. All right. It says, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which I said, to thy soul bow down that we may go over and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the streets of them that went over all right who is the it says you're gonna put into the hands of them that afflict thee all right now who is afflicting us today actually ask yourself that question who is afflicting us you got these you got the white man all right number one top of everybody all right because he running this motherfucker and he passing all these laws and you know for homosexuality you know, he got these fucking transgenders walking around everywhere you know basically all the laws that are that are being set up are against us all right that's the top enemy all right the top person that's afflicting us the top number one oppressor all right but then the other nations hey they they right behind them too 
all right, because they seeing the condition that we are we are in, and they looking at us like we ain't shit. All right, so why why would they have to treat us like we are something? You know, so they ain't on it too. All right, they gonna drink that cup. This is Jeremiah forty nine to ten. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive. And let thy and let thy widows trust in me. All right. So basically, I just want I started. I had to start up there just so you can know we're talking about Esau, the so-called white man. But this is the point. Jeremiah forty nine twelve. For thus saith Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Talking about Israel, so-called Negroes, like ten other Native Americans, they have assuredly drunken. You can see it. All right, these curses. It said it was gonna be upon us for a sign in the warning. You can see these curses on us. Right, you can see that we took that cup. All right. That we drunk it. It says, And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? All right, where we are the people of the Most High. All right, now you see what he put us through. And you put us through so much hell, Esau, Edom. All right, the thing that you have done unto us, you think that you gonna go unpunished? That's what, it's, that's what the scripture is it's asking. That's what it's saying. You think you gonna go unpunished? It said, Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So hell no. Hell no. Nah. You finna drink of that cup. Alright? You finna get everything that we got. Alright, double. Scripture say you're gonna receive double. Double of what you did unto us. Alright, and these and these nations, they go, they gonna drink of the cup too. All right, let me get that real quick in the book of Obadiah. Let me see. Obadiah 1 and 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon their own head. So as all these heathen have done, mainly Esau, it shall return upon their own head. All right, the thing that they've done unto us is going to happen unto them. It says, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. So it said, yeah, they're going to drink, and they shall swallow down. It ain't going to be no, you taking a little sip, or you drinking, and you spitting it out. He said, no, you're going to swallow that shit down. Everything that we've been through, bro, all that hardship and hell that we had to catch, you got to go through it too, man. There right, ain't no other way around it. You know, Lamentations 421. All right, because like I said, man, our time is going to be up. All right, it's the time for these these heathens. All right, everybody that's not an Israelite to go through to go through the hell, to catch that hell. Lamentations 421. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. All right, so the cup is going to pass through unto Edom. You know? The Edomites, the so-called white people. Alright. It says, Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Alright, it said the the things that we went through the mo that the most side had put us through. Alright, basically our punishment is over. Alright, sentence served. Alright. We are about to be released from this captivity. You know? It said the punishment of iniquity is accomplished. When we think about this, uh, this scripture right here, this is Isaiah 41. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, said Yahweh. All right, it's saying comfort my people. How we comfort them? We comfort them with the scriptures. All right, the scriptures is the comforter, which is Yahweh shot because he's the word. All right, but it says comfort our people. Our people need to be comforted. All right, because of the things that we're going through, because of the hell that was brought upon them from the Most High. All right, because his hand is still stretched out against. Against our people. Alright. It says. Speak ye comfortably unto Jerusalem. And cry unto her. That her war, her warfare is accomplished. And you go into that word warfare. It means hardships. Alright. It says that her iniquity. Is pardoned. For she had received of Yahweh's hand. Double for all her sins. Alright. It says that. Her iniquity is pardoned. You know, our warfare has accomplished and that her iniquity is a part. So we supposed to tell our people that, look, man, basically our sins are forgiven. What do you like? All right. 
on this side, her, where it, it says that her iniquity is, is pardoned. Why is our iniquity a pardon? Because there has been a sacrifice. All right? Because if you go in history, all right, when you went off, you had to sacrifice something to the most. I was no way around it. All right? Because you had sin on you. All right? In, 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 order, in order to get that, that sin up off you, you had to, you know, you had to sacrifice a lamb or whatever this, uh, the most I required. All right? For whatever sin that you did. All right? You know? You had to. So who would the sacrifice this time? You know? It was Yahweh Shah, all right, son of the Most High. He made that sacrifice, you know. The one who who people call Jesus Christ, all right, and whose real name is Yahweh Shah right? in the Hebrew. He made that sacrifice for the whole nation. Isaiah the fifty third chapter, all right. All we like sheep had run ast went astray. The Most High had laid on him the the iniquity of us all, all right. But on this side. The elect is going to make it, all right? This side, the elect, all right, sends a cover. Psalms 32, all right, verse 1, all right? But all of Israel is going to make it, all right? Just like I said, two-thirds of our people is going to have to die on this side, but they're going to come back in the kingdom, in the kingdom, all right? But our iniquity has been pardoned because of the man in shot, all right? It says, uh, Lamentation 4.22, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. All right, so the most I say, he's, he's going to no more carry thee away into captivity. This is our last captivity. All right. We are never going to be back in this condition. The most I is never going to do this to us again because we're not going to go off again because he's going to put... The new covenant within us, which will make us not go off. All right, he's going to program us to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, forever. And we're going to live forever. All right. But as for these other nations, like I said, they got to go through what we went through. Lamentations 1 and, 20, 1 and 21. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They have glad that thou hast done it. So these other nations, they know, they know who we are. Hey, they know we are the Israelites, all right? But they they are glad that we are in the condition that we are in because when we was in power, all right, you can read about King David, King Solomon, all right? We had our foot on their necks. You know, we ruled over them. All right, we had power, you know? <laughs> and basically, they hated that shit, all right? King David, King David subdued all those nations through the Most High. <laughs> you know, and it's got it's gonna go back to that, but that's the reason why they're glad that we're in this condition. All right, they don't want to see us back in that power. They don't want us to be, you know, back in our glory. All right, it says they are glad that thou hast done it. Thou will bring the day that thou hast called, and they shall be like unto me. All right, it says let all that wickedness come before thee, and do unto them as thou hast done to me. For all my transgressions, for my size of many is my heart is faint. So asking the most high to do unto them all right, what you did unto us. You know? And the most high is gonna do that. What's my proof? Deut Deuteronomy 37. And yeah, how thy power will put all these will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And who hurted us and, and persecuted us? All of these nations, so everybody got to get it. All these curses that we went through, man, they going it's gonna go on, it's gonna rest upon them. All right. So, like I said, Israel is about to be taken up out of captivity because the Most High is about to send His Son back, and these other nations are going into captivity. All right, Revelation thirteen nine and ten. He that leadeth to captivity shall go into captivity. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Hakadosh. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and salutation to the occupants to the elect that is scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom.